Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the training of the Modicon M221. In this video, we're going to talk about the functionality that we have in the software EcoStruction Machine Expert related to the high speed counter. In this case, we're going to focus only on the quadrant configuration. So let's go to the presentation. In the previous video, we have seen the two different uh, high speed counters that we have. We have the single phase and then we have the uh, dual phase pulse direction. Now we're going to focus on the quadrature. The step of the initial configuration is the same, basically. OK, in terms of the software is the same. What is changed, of course, is the part of the hardware and it changed also the different modes that we have in the quadrature. So let's go deep in here. The configuration the code to access is exactly the same as the previous videos configuration, high speed counter, and then select what we want, full mode. Here, once we enter in here in the configuration for dual phase, and we select here, which which one do we have? We have three options, quarter tune per one, per two, and per four. Okay, so this one is something very important in the amount of the pulses that we're going to receive. So. Let's go back here. This is exactly the same as with the previous video that we saw. OK, you have two inputs that we have, one for the phase A and the other one for the phase B. OK, so that's the only difference that we have on the previous one. OK, the other one was pulse direction. This one is phase A and phase B. And the rest is the same. OK, we have also the reflex output. We have the threshold configuration, everything the same. Now, what is the big difference here, okay, is how it takes into account the counting up and counting down in the PLC. So, basically, if you use the quality per one, it should be almost the same as we have used in the pulse direction, okay? It just see for each rising edge of the pulse A, it just take one, okay? As you can see here, it takes one, let me just... this one then so for each rising edge that I have over here it takes it don't count okay and it start counting up okay so here I have one I have two and it start counting again okay it takes account this in order to count now for the quality per two it takes into account every pulses of the a okay so it takes some count this one okay as you can see here i start counting it takes account this one and this one in order to count but it also takes into account the direction of which one comes first okay if it's the a and b in this case as the a enter first under before the b pulse it just go up okay and this way over here as the B enters first it just go down counting down that's the only difference okay that we have compared with the ports and direction now it's a quarter to per four okay for each even if it's a and B okay you should start counting up and down okay so for each cycle that we have, it has count for four, okay? That is the idea, okay, for the counting. But the direction would be depend on which count first, the pulse A or B, that's the only difference. So we have the normal counting that we have depend on the rising edge of the A and the rising or the falling edge of the a in order to count for quarter two per one or per two and then the direction will be given by the phase now for the phase b okay that depend if the phase b is before the phase a if we count it down okay as you can see over here it comes first okay it comes first this one second then the counting will be down and then if the b comes after the a it comes up okay and the only thing that we need to know about that is that you need to select per one, per two, per four, 
to multiply the amount of pulses that you can see. So we're going to configure now in different way the application that we see in the previous video, okay, in order to see how it change with every turn. So let's go back. The configuration of the architecture is exactly the same that we have done with the pulse and direction, okay. The configuration is going to be the same. This one we have already covered. We have already covered this, how to calculate the distance or perimeter. We're going to focus the same. We're going to use the same. What we're going to use only here is to modify the program that we have been working with. So this is the program that we have seen in the, in the previous video. OK, what I'm going to do now is only change the actual configuration. We have using this pulse and direction and I'm going to use quadrature per one. OK, so I'm going to apply apply over here, download, so you can see the behavior that I have. Let me just move this to the other side. Oops, there we go. Download to the software. OK. Come on, and play. So we start everything in zero. I'm going to press it just in case. Let me see the configuration of the thresholds. The radius is the same. Threshold seems to be the same. I'm going to press it just in case. Now let's go back to this view. So. In terms of in terms of the threshold, how is the behavior of the reflex is the same. What we need to take care of now is how the PLC reads all the pulses, depending on the quadrature that we have selected. That is the idea. So let's go back here. This is quadrature per one, so it should be the same. So in one turn of the device, let me just put this in zero degrees here. I'm going to reset this okay there we go so this is will be my zero so in one turn on this one we should be able to see 1000 so if we go over here okay barely 1000 okay so you have the distance the perimeter we have already calculated before and the 360 degrees that we have already calculated okay so that is the idea. So now what we're going to do here, instead of using, let me just dun, 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 to press it here, instead of using the quadrature per one, I'm going to use the quadrature per two. So you can see the behavior that we have. Quadrature per two. Login again. Download to the target, yes. So far, I haven't escalated anything at all. We, I have used the same configuration for the pulse direction, OK? And then I only changed the configuration of the pulse direction configure as a quadrature per one with the same configuration of the encoder part that you want to replicate and convert it to the pulses to the instance and to degrees. Now, with that same configuration, I have changed the high speed counter to quadrature per two. So let's see the behavior that we have. So now play. OK, programming here, I'm going to press at this just in case. Now I'm going to make one turn, one complete turn of this. OK, but it's going to be like I have been doing two turns. OK, because it's multiplied by two. So if I go from here to here, it should be 1000 revolutions, uh, 1000 pulses. I should be 300 degrees over here because I haven't changed nothing. So I'm going to move. 
and there we go because it's multiplied the amount of pulses that I'm receiving by two and then if I go over here it should be 2,000 pulses okay more or less you get the idea okay so in one turn it seems that they count in by two okay that's the idea of the quadrature by two so now if I multiply this let me just change this <laughs> by four so we have more revolution more pulses now per turn login download press it okay so now as multiplied by four now the amount of pulses that we have per turn it should be this 90 degrees and going to move should be 360 if I know wrong okay you can see already 360 now another turn okay and at the end should be 4,000 pulses Okay, more or less in there, you get the idea. Okay, so this is what I meant by multiply by four, the quadrature by two, by four, and per one. So if you need to make some adjustment over here, what you need to do, let me just check this. Do, 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 do. Here, just maximize this, zoom in. We need to play a little bit around with the amount of pulses. Okay, so uh, encoder pulses here. Mm -hmm. Probably need to multiply this by four. This one is a constant value. I'm going to change it now by four. Uh, da -da -da. Degrees encoder pulse per revolution multiply by four and send back so now if I know wrong you should be able to see the right amount that I have okay so let's start over again let's press set so now I have modified the, the formula to read the exact amount of pulses that I want so if I turn the 360 degrees okay manually over here in the software we should be able to see the perimeter the 4,000 pulses now and 360 degrees so if I move this as you can see over there the amount of pulses I know almost 360 and I have the 4,000 pulses okay so that is the idea of the quadrature so going back over here to the presentation here this over here this is important to know the difference between the pulse and direction and the quadrature so you realize how to make the calculation instead of the distance and if you want to calculate the degrees that you have turned that the object have turned so this is the idea how you can use the quadrature on the m to one in the software of the m to one I believe I covered everything in this video and in the previous two about the single phase and the dual phase. Most of the configurations, reflex output and the events is the same. Okay, you only change the hardware and how you can interact with the quadrature in this case. So this is it for the high speed counters that we have on the M221. Thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one.